YT Dan, back again, another video. The meta has shifted yet again. We have gotten to peak levels of disgust. That's right, my boys, disgust. Disgust that you have not followed me on twitch.tv backslash YT Dan. You need to be following me, my boy. I stream three to five times per week. Come check out your boy. Follow me, my boy, on Twitch. Also, subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell to never, ever miss. You're probably thinking, you're just complaining about the brand new deck that came out. You're just complaining about Blue Eyes White Dragon. What's different than any other meta deck that you gotta complain about? Well, here's the thing. I don't necessarily have a complaint. I do, I do have a particular point to make, but I don't have a necessarily complaint. The reason why I would say I'm a little disgusted, a little bit uh, flustered about this current new F.A. Blue Eyes meta that just popped up. And I'm just not even really F.A. It's more Dark Lord Blue Eyes meta that just popped up. It's because we had a clear and deserving target as top deck. That's right. I think the Blue Eyes White Dragon should have stayed tier one and other decks should have rose up to meet it. And this is my argument. By stifling the Blue Eyes right now with F.A. Hang On Mock, you did not give other decks other times to shine. F.A. Hang On Mock may have been that one card that was way too good for Duel Links right now. This card is not unbeatable, just being clear. It's not unbeatable. This card is easily defeated. It's unaffected by activated effects from opponents monsters whose levels or ranks are lower than this card outside of the ability to boost its uh level from the activation of spells and traps it has nothing to do with any type of spell or trap negation so you can just simply run back row removal or other forms of removal like fissure book of moon floodgate any of that stuff to get rid of this guy and in most decks especially blue eyes decks they run sufficient enough back row to get rid of F.A. Hang On Mach. However, my argument or problem with F.A. Hang On Mach is that he's too good for the other decks that are floating around in the meta. Lots of other decks, most other decks, rely very heavily on their monster effects. And people who forego back row to play other things typically like to play decks that either are monster effect heavy or combo heavy, but nine times out of 10, they lean on a monster that needs to activate an effect. It creates this narrow vacuum that if you want to engage with this meta, you have to do one of two things. You either A, need to play one of the top tier decks, which is either Dark Lords or Blue Eyes, which is, it is what it is. Or two, your rogue deck or random deck that you're gonna decide to play has to be able to have consistent monster removal, consistent back row removal, and could potentially beat over a monster that's above 3000 plus. If your rogue deck can do all those things at the drop of a hat on the second turn, congratulations, you're still in the game. But for many other rogue decks, dead in the water. A rogue deck that I like to think about that has particular issues around this card. Um, you could think of something like Luna Light, for example. Luna Light, for sure, can take out a Dark Lord deck caught in the right position. But it'll be really hard for that Luna Light deck to come out with a victory when all things are kind of set on the table and you know what you're playing against. If I know I'm playing against Lunar Light, I wouldn't play directly into their combos. But even if I started out with FA Hang On Mock, that actually puts that Lunar Light player in defense because they can't really mess with this monster at all. All their monster effects need <laughs> have to activate to remove this. And a lot of those decks only run protection and don't run necessary uh, cards to just remove monsters off the field because their effect reduces the attack to zero so they can beat over it. But also what is interesting about that matchup, this monster doesn't come from the extra deck. This monster comes from your hand to the field and is boosted by level level augmentation. 
And because he's boosted by level augmentation, that boost is going to give him his effect, of course, but also against a deck like Lunar Light that if you have monsters from the extra deck on the field, you can't really explo exploit one of the Lunar Light's best fusion traits, which is fusing with materials from the deck if your opponent has extra deck monsters on the field. And in the era of Xyz being very popular with synchros, etc., Lunar Light can definitely have a lot of shine. But then these FA cards come in and mess up in the mix. Blue Eyes is already top deck, mess up, mess up in the mix. It kind of puts your rogue deck down. It's already a hard matchup to play the best deck versus rogue deck. But now we have this random FA hang on mock monster that's just chilling in decks. And it's not just blue eyes. It's not just uh, the matchup where you're talking about blue eyes versus dark lords, but it is also pretty much just any other deck or any other matchup. So that's just kind of my thoughts on the FA hang on mech. I don't necessarily feel like this card is unfair. And I don't think that this is a, like too good or like like it's a like a bad card like i feel like it might be too good at the moment because it took away a lot of the shine from the blue eyes white dragon my boy that's just my thoughts on it i think that blue eyes should have had more time to shine in tier one maybe even tier zero um because dark magician shined there for way longer uh, and I'm sure Blue Eyes is still going to be in there as we continue to go, but you guys know how this goes. We have played this game many times before. We've been in this situation many times before. There is a deck that pops up, and we think, oh, man, this deck is going to be amazing. Then Konami instantly releases something or bans something or limits something, instantly kind of putting a roadblock in the middle of this deck, and then a few other decks pile on, and then before you know this deck is forgotten, put into rogue status, or, you know, continuously played as an okay deck, like Witchcrafters. So I'm just saying, my boy, I really feel like they did your boy Blue Eyes dirty, and you should put some respect on the Blue Eyes White Beast name. But at the end of the day, my boy, you got to hang on. <laughs> so I'm going to catch you on the next one. If I didn't mention it, my boy, you know, I'm live streaming on twitch.tv backslash YT Dan. You need to follow me there. And then also we're going to be getting in there for game, my boy, right here on this channel. If you want to catch my videos, you got to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. But as always, my boys, thank you so much for watching and keep it dank.